Lens corrections. Now, lens corrections are set by default on the um, Focus software because the Focus software recognizes which lens you're using. So for example, it recognizes that I'm using the 150 millimeter lens here and it is making any necessary uh, correction for that particular lens uh, to do with vignetting or chromatic aberration. Um, and it will do that by standard. And if you are using a different lens um, that it hasn't recognized, you can actually um, select the lenses, especially if you're using the older V system, uh, you might be using the new CF feedback on a V series camera. And those particular lenses, Focus Software will give you a list of the lenses and you can choose lens corrections to suit those particular lenses. Scene calibration, I'm gonna come back to afterwards. Crop and orientation, we already mentioned uh, about cropping, but we also have a straighten tool in here um, as well as our line tool. So we can choose to uh, adjust the crop, constrain the crop, create presets as I pointed out before. Output preview is simply the default setting that you want generally when you do an export. So I've got mine set to TIFFs at 16 bit, full size files, full resolution, and um, that will be the standard um, export setting um, that's used when I choose export. Adjustment browser. Now this is a useful feature for creating your own presets. So when you're importing a series of images that you may have shot on location and you want them to have a certain look, you could create a user-defined preset. You can see I've got one there called Carl's Look, um, but I can create another one here called Landscape. And in that landscape preset, I might decide that I want a certain amount of saturation for all my landscape images, and I want a certain amount of exposure or contrast adjustment, and I can create that by simply adjusting my settings here, creating that user-defined preset, and then specifying that preset on import. So when I import all my files, I can specify I want that user-defined preset to be applied to all the images that I import. So it automatically makes all those adjustments to it without me having to do it individually afterwards. So a very useful uh, feature in the adjustment uh, browser panel. And we've obviously got our factory uh, standard presets, which is the one that I commonly use as well. Reproduction, I'm gonna come back to that in a short while. That's more specifically for uh, archival museums, uh, people that are recording uh, paintings and need them to be uh, very precise color settings to suit their lighting and their setup. So we'll come on to that in a moment. Then over to our export panel, we have the queue because I can choose to export multiple images at a time. I can so I say I want to export all of those or I can export 200 or as many files as I like and that will put them into a queue and you'll see them exporting you'll see the information about which ones have exported and which ones haven't and you can also pause the export as well in the queue uh, dialog box there capture info we've seen that one already IPTC core we've seen already and output preview we've already seen.